Sir, I need to get to consensus to hear Mythical's John Linden make the big announcement on stage. The CEO of Mythical Games, John Linden. Where are the AAA games? Where are the big AAA PC games? They are coming fast and furious. And what I'm excited about a lot of these games here, Fusion Point, I don't think John's here, but uh, John Smedley was a creator of EverQuest, right? I mean, these are big, big, big games that these guys have made. And they are gonna jump in head first into this industry. They're bringing Web3 into these games. Leslie Binzi from Ever, from uh, Grand Theft Auto, he did GTA 3, 4, 5, Red Dead Redemption, probably one of the most iconic game designers in the world. He's working on a project at Web3 is gonna be part of that, right? And on the topic of iconic IPs, um, I wonder how to highlight Pudgy Penguins. Uh, Pudgy Penguins, I think, is a really, really fascinating brand in Web3, right? They're already this triple threat. They've done nearly half a billion dollars in secondary sales and NFTs. They also now, they have a toy line, right? They're now, they started off in Amazon, they're now in Walmart, they're now in uh, um, Target. They've sold over 1 million toys based on a Web3 IP. And not only that, a lot of people don't know this, but the Giphy, if you send the gifts back and forth, they've done nearly 20 billion impressions from the Pudgy Kim P1 IP. That's more than Disney does on Giphy, right? So they're already this huge triple threat. I think I'll show, show a video real quick here. Holy shit, Pudgy Penguins is coming to Polkadot. Any other gaming news, Peden? This week's gaming update covers Skybreach tweeting for the first time in a long while. Since December, actually. Game coming soon? Dremica gameplay is looking really good. Last days to buy your Skylab Yoki NFTs, which comes with fidgetals. Everloot has a new crafting recipe for rare armor, pushing not only their crafting economy forward, but their marketplace. And basic analytics are already in place. Fast is fast. Meme coin or game coin, Pink drops an announcement around P PvP in a 1v1 or 4 player degen mode. There'll be a queue so you don't know who you'll face. Sounds epic. And finally, Degenerous Dow brags about a million views, mostly on TikTok, for their AI generated content. Back to you, Jay. And now I need to race to the Web Zero Hacker House for our live attempts at governance show on X and YouTube, where we'll be discussing the last minute fail of the IBTC proposal. Crane? With proposal 714 getting denied at the last minute with less than 24 hours on the clock, what's next for Interlay? We've seen a significant decline in issued IBTC over the past two months, dropping from a high of 80 IBTCs to just 55. The proposal aimed to counter this by incentivizing vaults to increase IBTC capacity by 45 IBTC. So what could be a possible solution to this IBTC slump? One approach is to increase capital efficiency in the protocol. The fewer incentives needed from the protocol itself, the more vaults can be incentivized. This trend already began last year when Bifrost yield bearing VDOT was approved and has now become the largest asset used as collateral for vaults. Another method could be using yield earning stablecoin DEX LP tokens as collateral. Additionally, kickbacks from DeFi protocols utilizing IBTC could help as well, though this would require greater adoption of Polkadot DeFi. If IBTC cannot gain traction, perhaps the Polkadot ecosystem needs to consider more centralized Bitcoin derivatives like Rep BTC. Or judging by the trade volume, Bitcoin derivatives may simply have no place in the Polkadot ecosystem. Ultimately, the community will be the judge. Back to you, Jay. Thank you, sir. And Interco's got some other refs you'll want to know for today's show. Confirming this week with overwhelming support is the proposal to set up a Cayman Island foundation to represent the interest of the Polkadot token holders. Other than the ability to smoothly and securely interact with the real world, this tax-exempt foundation would also shield OpenGov participants in the event of a lawsuit. The Campella team is narrowly making it into the confirmation period, perhaps as a result of their campaigning the added value of the product compared to existing solutions such as the Polkadot Vault and Ledger. Also swinging is the heroic partnership which will see Polkadot enter the eSport arena, 15QU and 12XL again responsible for this major shift. Freshly added is the proposal to promote Gavin Wood in the Fellowship to the 7th Dan as Free Master, a rank only attainable with the consent of the community. Lastly, the proposal for a drone show over the Veld Music Festival in Toronto with an estimated 100k plus attendance has been revised. 9,286 dot to illuminate the sky over a young demographic featuring the Polkadot 
logo, but more notably, a giant QR code leading to a potential NFT drop. Back to you, Jay. Thanks, guys. Tune in now for Attempts at Governance live on X and YouTube. Connor Daly will be there. Have a great day, everybody.